if it's like a cool goblet, it's like you're gonna take that because like you want it to be in your you know your trophy selection. Sip on this. Come patio season, you get a little bit of a problem with uh, glassware numbers. Some falling glassware numbers. It's a thing. People want to see if they can get away with snagging some glasses. Charlotte Brewers are wasting thousands of dollars. Reordering pitchers, people pocket. I'm sure my friends have. I I'm not going to lie. Fox 46 taps into five craft breweries across Charlotte neighborhoods. Is this the price you pay for having good beer? Think before you take. Tuesday night on Fox 46 News at 10. On a sunny day like this, we are extremely packed. We just have kind of all kinds of folks here grabbing some beers. Grabbing beers and swiping glasses. We spend thousands of dollars every single year um, replacing our pint glasses. <laughs> Craft brewers across Charlotte have caught criminals in the act. I've seen the purse. I've seen the kind of little shuffle where they're holding it. And, you know, they always do the head turn to see if anybody's looking. I was talking to a lady. She put her purse down, and the purse kind of opened up, and there was two pint glasses inside the purse. And I was like, oh, nice. In the clink of an eye, <laughs> Noda Brewing estimates $24,000 a year in missing or stolen glassware. Sycamore Brewing says it cost them $18,000. Legion reports $4,600. And Lenny Boy spends almost $3,000 bucks replacing stolen glasses. That's crazy to me. Legion Brewing, who doesn't use logo glasses for this reason, reports 30 glasses a month in theft. It's amazing sometimes with the plain glass still how many we fly through. We've seen some weird stuff here, but uh, taking glasses is just common. While some brewers take it as a compliment, others say the beer may come back with a bite. We've definitely had to sort of pad our costs a little bit. Even the price of beer could go up just to level that playing field out again. One solution could be plastic cups, but most taproom managers say they'll never switch out the glass. I mean, we do all the time and all that effort to make such good beer. We're not going to pour it in plastic. As far as making money or not losing money, that'd probably be a better option for them. The other fix: craft brewers ask you purchase the pint for a couple bucks. It's just like adding another beer to your tab. That's it. Reporting in the tap room, Lauren Dugan, Fox 46 Charlotte.